welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 31st of January through to Sunday the 6th of February 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So Capricorns just before we jump into your overarching crowning messages I'd like to share your channeled message that I received for you whilst meditating for your reading. So whoever you're connecting with they're definitely a past life connection okay somebody that you have lived many many lives it could be um uh your definitely your twin flame these are twin flame readings but it also could be a very very deep soulmate or maybe even a karmic per uh, a karmic soulmate okay um i feel that you're being guided to um Almost be proud of this love, be proud of this connection, whatever adversities are going on um, uh, between you and this person or around this connection, because it's something definitely to celebrate. And I also was picking up that in like in the next few weeks or so, uh, you may actually get some kind of confirmation or affirmation um, that you and this person are either definitely twin flames or you have definitely lived many, many lives together. There is a lot of chemistry between the two of you. I feel that the, your like physical appearances are you're you're very drawn to that, both of you to each other. I feel whoever you are connecting with, they have, um, I feel that they have really thought about this connection quite long and hard, um, maybe a little bit heartbroken if you had either said something a little bit cutting or um, cut them out or um, they may have felt that you had didn't want to know them or something. And I feel that they do want to build a future with you. They do want to... Um, yeah, they, they want a new start. They I feel that they want you to surrender to the connection, Capricorns. It could be vice versa as well. Um, maybe this person cut you out or said something a little bit cut in, denied or shut down the connection. Um, I feel that they have been really thinking about that. Um, and they want this new beginning. They do want to build something with you. And I feel that they want to surrender to the connection. All right. So either or depends uh what, what side you're resonating, all right? So that's the channeled message that came through. Let's go ahead now and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to thank you. First card is take action. So I feel that the action that you're being guided to take um, if it's you that walked away from somebody, uh, definitely to surrender to this connection. Um, if not, I feel that you're being guided. If they cut you out, um, yeah, if they cut you out, I feel that you're being guided to stand tall um, in the love that you have for this person. Be proud of it because it's like you didn't do anything wrong if you express love to this person um, or if they denied it because you expressed that you feel this real intense connection. Uh, I feel that you're being guided to stand stand like firm on what you believe in because the intensity of this connection is definitely somebody that you have lived um many many lives with so i feel that you're being guided with that action um to to be proud of this connection be proud of this love because it is something to celebrate um not many people get to come into union with their twin flame in the you know in this lifetime um so the fact that you have um encountered or, or met your twin flame i feel that you're being guided to, to to take action to stand proud in it um knowing that this person is your twin flame but also as well um you know if you cut this person out or they cut you out i feel you're still being guided to surrender to the connection all right because it's a good thing it's a good it's a good love it's a good energy that's coming through oh wow look um so we've got within the next few months now I, it's interesting because i saw in in weeks i saw it in weeks so um you're being told within the next uh, few months i feel as if the 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 path is being paved for the two of you to come into union okay and if you notice the angels on each side um of this card it's almost as if it's very much protected 
So I feel that um, action being taken is um, standing tall, okay? Knowing that the two of you are coming together in the next few months. Be proud of this, this connection for sure, all right? And oh, wow, and uh, the final card is yes. So whoever you are connecting with, I feel that you're being guided. Yes, this is a past life connection. Yes, this is your twin flame. Yes, there is a purpose for this person in your life. And I feel many of you are going to get that um, sign, um, synchronicity, vision, dream in the next few months. Um, I saw in your channel's message weeks, so I suppose if you tot up a number of weeks, it could be months, but the actual card that's come out is in the next few months. So it feels as if the two of you, whoever you're connecting with, you are definitely um, um, getting into that part of the relationship where you're getting to know each other. And I feel that you're being guided to take action, to surrender to the connection, be open to the connection, be proud of the connection, um, because it is definitely somebody that you've known in past lives, okay? And I do feel that this person does want to build something with you. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, calling in your soulmate, first crown and wisdom message. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Absolutely. So that may be, again, um, some of the actions that you've got to take. Um, believe, believe in this connection because yes, they are your twin flame. Yes, they are somebody that you have lived many, many lives with. And I feel that um, if you haven't started, um, you know, asking for your spirit team to guide you and to help you and to give you those affirmations whether or not it's in meditation whether or not it's in prayer I would suggest that you definitely start doing that because in the next few months or so I feel that you are going to be given that confirmation of kind of like this reading I suppose really or confirmation of what you already know within yourself that there is this real deep intense connection okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question? How does the twin flames of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys? For week commencing Monday the 31st of January through to Sunday the 6th of February 2022. What is their current energy spiritually? Thank you. Okay, so forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So whatever it is um, that the uh, life past life experiences that you and this person have had together, um, there may be something in this lifetime that you need to forgive to learn. Um, or if this person or whoever cut who out or shut down or resisted the connection, that may be part of the learning process um, of forgiveness, okay? Uh, knowing, um, bringing you the gift of forgiveness so that you can release whatever it is you need to forgive them in this lifetime, but it may be something that's been carried over like a karmic debt from past lives um, in order for you to heal that, level that up so that you guys can move forward. So forgiving and learning is, is quite key. Uh, again, taking us to taking action, surrendering to this connection, surrendering to um, forgiving and learning, okay? And just, again, be proud, celebrate the connection because uh, I feel that this person, whoever you are connecting with, um, you're supposed to be in each other's lives in this lifetime. And yeah, give your relationship another chance. So I feel that for many of you, as per your channel's message, somebody uh, cut somebody out or somebody walked away or somebody resisted or denied the connection. And I feel that you're being guided, Capricorns, to forgive, 
okay? Recognize the learning. It may be a learning in this lifetime. It could be a learning from a karmic debt, from past life experiences that you've had with this person. Um, work on your relationship. So there's a lot of things that taking action is guiding you to do with whoever you are connecting with. Um, so A, definitely uh, start asking your spirit team, divine spirit universe, um, for affirmation, for confirmation that this person is your twin flame. I feel that the answer is yes. Okay. Um, I also feel that you're being guided um, to forgive and learn um, what this, what the gift this person brought to you in this lifetime. And if they walked away or cut you out or vice versa, I feel that you're being guided to give the relationship another chance because there is a gift of learning um, a gift of forgiveness. There's a gift that this person has been brought into your life um, to teach you in some shape, form or another. And I feel for many of you in the next few uh, months, weeks and months, um, that you are going to see um, the path to take with this person, but it is going to require um, an element of action on your part. All right, Capricorns, if this message is resonating for you already, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does um, help to push this video out to other Capricorns. Um, it also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something really useful out of this week's reading. Let's get it into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey week commencing Monday the 31st of January through to Sunday the 6th of February 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's have a look and see. Um, what comes out okay that fell out of my hand yeah what did i say fifth fifth dimension so it feels as if the two of you whoever you're connecting with if whoever walked away from who or whoever denied the connection uh, the two of you are definitely in union on the 5d so spiritually um you guys are already in union i feel that you're being guided um, to take action, uh, to call them in, to give the relationship another chance in our reality, to bring that 5D uh, unity that is already existing in the spiritual realms into our reality, okay? And many of you, it could be in the next few months, a uh, few weeks, that that's going to start um, uh, coming forward, okay? If you take the action, obviously, that you're being guided to take, Whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they know it's an absolute yes um, on their side, that you are their twin flame, ultimate soulmate. And I feel that this person is definitely being guided on this path. They they, they are being shown the light, basically, um, uh, being um, enlightened to this connection. And I feel that they do want to offer devotion. They do want to... Um, yeah, build that future with you, okay? Build something because they recognize there is this um, unconditional love that the two of you have. And that comes from the past lives that you have lived together, but also that the two of you um, in the spiritual realms are already in unity, okay? With the receives card, I feel that um, this is really interesting within... Uh, to come up right in the middle of your reading, I feel that when you first encountered this person or when you both encountered each other, it was very foggy. It was very um, 
very uncertain um you may guys may have felt the intensity but really not sure but you received the message you received um the blessing that you are definitely connecting with your twin flame but many of you it may have been very very foggy so it's almost like you guys may have had like a veil over your third eye chakra um to really see the connection for what it is and i feel that you're being guided that the message has been received this person is definitely Definitely awoken to the connection and I feel that that fog is lifting that veil is being lifted off of their 3d their third eye chakra to see that this is um that you are their twin flame ultimate soulmate and it's because of the past life lives that you have lived with each other okay let's continue my angels and spirit thank you so regret okay so i feel as if whoever you're connecting with either um they have got a lot of regret okay that they didn't see the in the, the 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 significance of this connection um particularly if they cut you out or they um suppressed or denied the connection it also could represent that you may have um regret for not seeing this connection for what it is um or denying it or feeling as if something that you done um you know so for example if this person denied the connection uh, you may have felt regretful for coming forward um receiving the message that this person is your twin flame and then acting upon it and it it because this person hadn't awoken then um you may have been regretful to um yeah, to, 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 to come forward, basically. And so therefore, um, if they cut you out or resisted the connection, you may have, you know, um, walked away from this connection um, because they denied you, basically. But as this person is waking up, I feel as if, uh, you know, I feel as if as they wake up receiving this message, the veil is lifting. Uh, you're being guided that you don't need to feel that regret anymore. Um, give the relationship another ch chance. I feel that you're being guided to forgive yourself, for forgive this person if they did walk away from you. And I feel that ask your spirit team, is this person my soulmate? Is this person my twin flame? And I feel that your spirit team will answer you. Then another way that I'm reading it is that you may be picking up that this person was regretful for denying the connection, resisting the connection, cutting you out. And it was simply because they may have received the message, but they didn't really understand. So they received the call. They received the intensity. They received um, the intensity of this connection. They recognized your beauty they recognized um the chemistry but they didn't see the connection for what it was and that was a very very deep soulmate twin flame so you could be picking up their energy that they're quite regretful and i feel that you're being guided to forgive them okay and maybe they have to forgive themselves let's continue my angels and spirit guides oh thank you and final card is union. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I feel that this union is definitely going in the right steps. Both of you are getting to a stage now where I feel that both of you are waking up to the connection. And I feel within the next few weeks, few months, um, the two of you are definitely coming into union. So be proud um, of this connection. Um Capricorns um, because it feels like it's been a good old journey with this person of you know um, regret either on your side or their side but it has been part of the learning process for the two of you all right let's continue my angels and spirit guides of oh thank you so whoever you're connecting with with the eight of coins I feel that this person is definitely looking um, at the detail of this connection, wanting to clear something up with you, probably, yeah, this is them 
Uh, I mean, they could be spying on you, keeping tabs on you, um, watching um, other tarot readings to try and get confirmation that you are their twin flame. They're definitely looking at the detail of this connection, looking at the detail of this 5D um, union. So the two of you could be dreaming of each other, getting signs, synchronicities, visions, whatever it is. I feel as if this person felt that you cut them out and I feel that they do want to come in and devote their time. They're being guided um, to... I feel that they're being guided or enlightened um, to this path that they're supposed to take with you. But they may see that you have cut them out walked away from walked away from them denied the connection um and i feel that they are definitely in that mental entrapment um not sure what to do almost really over analyzing this connection so if this person denied the connection in the first instance okay and you're picking up that they are regretful for that because that may have triggered for you to cut them out i feel that they are really analyzing this they are analyzing the connection connection spiritually but also they are analyzing things that were said and done that they may have a lot of regret over Another way that I can read this is that um, uh, for those of you, if you did cut out this person, you're the one that's got a lot of regret. And I feel that they are really analyzing, you know, why did you cut them out? OK, um, because it feels as if this person is definitely going through an awakening or they have al already awoken to the connection. And I feel that they want you to surrender. They, they they want to come into union. They In our reality, I feel that they definitely want to build something with you. Very, very heartbroken that you had cut them out. And I feel that they've been in a place of healing, trying to make sense of it, trying to lift that veil or that foggy thinking of like, is this person, is Capricorn really my twin flame ultimate soulmate? Um, and I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe this week is telling them it's a big fat yes. Capricorn is your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? Thank you. So, yeah, I feel with the Knight of Swords, um, it almost feels as if the two of you said something cutting to each other. It's almost as if either they regret saying something to you that may have triggered you to cut them out or vice versa. But there's definitely some harsh words that were said, okay? And I feel that they re they have received the message that if they denied the connection, uh, shut it down in some shape, form or another, uh, they're receiving the message that hold it a minute, stop. Um, they are being enlightened, um, shown the path that you, I feel that you are their twin flame ultimate soulmate. On your side, whatever they done or said to you, I feel that it left you very uncertain to take action towards this person. Hence why many of you may have cut this person out, walked away from them in some shape, form or another. And that's why either I've, it almost feels as if both of you um, are mirroring each other, regretting things that have been said in the past, um, not seeing. It's like. It's like you both have felt the connection, but you didn't really see it, if that makes sense, because that veil was over both of your eyes, it feels. You know, you received the message that this is an intense connection. How or why either one of you said something a little bit cut it? And look, there's just showing me the four of wands here. All of these cards have fallen out. It's too many. But yeah, it got you both unbalanced with the two of coins. Um, so it may have been a little bit of fear, okay, of the intensity of this connection. And it's all part of your growth. It's all part of the learning. And that's why I feel both of you, to be honest with you, are being guided to give the relationship another chance. But yeah, with that Knight of Wands, I feel many of you left were left a little bit uncertain whether or not to take action and continue pursuing this connection. And I feel that you're being guided. Yes, take action. 
yeah because in the next few weeks and months you're going to um see that this person does want to be with you with the uh six of wands coming in reverse and um, this is uh you blocking your victory with this person i feel that um uh, I feel that you may have known that this person was your person, okay? you They were um, the one for you, okay? With that being in reverse, because they said something to you and you said something back, which may have resulted in the two of you kind of separated or not talking as much, maybe on that romantic level, it almost feels as if... Um, you then may have um, neglected the connection because you're not you're a bit hesitant to take action towards them. And it almost feels as if the connection was then took a bit of a detour. It was misdirected in some shape, form or another. And I feel that this energy is this person. They are very, very regretful that they didn't see the connection earlier. They did because they're really got, looking at the detail, really wanting to clear stuff up with you. All right. And it, it, it feels as if uh, it feels like both of you are regretful. Uh, both of you have been misdirected of how the other person feels about the other person, if that makes sense. But that that um, six of wands face up, that's victory. It's kind of like both of you know that you are each other's divine counterpart. But it's been misdirected how the how you guys have um almost conducted yourselves with each other and i feel that you're being guided for both of you to give the relationship another chance yeah take that action stand tall stand proud um because i feel that this union is coming in and it's something to be celebrated um for sure thank you and then we've got so yeah look at that so with the two of uh wands um in reverse I feel whatever this regret is, whether it's you that's regretting your part that you played in this connection of walking away, saying something, cutting, denying the connection, or it's them, vice versa. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. But somebody walked away. Somebody said something um, that resulted in the other person kind of walking away and for you guys i feel it was it was you because you're very hesitant to take any action so it almost feels as if um you know uh you may have known that this person was the one for you you may have taken action towards this person expressed that in some shape for it form or another they then shut it down you then walked away um, which is why they feel as if you cut them out. So it's a lot of misdirection going on um, with the two of you over this connection. And that's part of the journey, all right? With the two of wands, um, it's as if this regret, either you are feeling or you're picking up that they are feeling, it's really blocking the victory of this connection, and that's why these two cards are in reverse, you know, no longer at a crossroads with each other. What direction? It's as if you it's it's as if um, it's as if the connection itself has been misdirected by whoever is feeling the regret Capricorns. And it could be you or it could be your person and you're picking up that energy, okay? But you are definitely um, really uncertain whether or not to take action forward. And I feel that you're being guided. Take that action. Um, almost stand firm in your belief that this is your twin flame, your ultimate um, soulmate. Be proud of it. Um, the love is real. The connection is real. And, and I feel that you're being guided to celebrate it and give the relationship another chance let's continue because i do feel that there is union in the air it's like it's almost on the horizon and look at that we've got the three of uh wands coming in reverse so many of you may have given up waiting for this union okay um the three of wands in reverse again is disappointment obstacles um um blockage basically blockage so it could be you um uh, capricorns it, it feels as if you're basically blocking the connection 
um, because you have a lot of regret, okay, um, that this person cut you out, which then resulted in you walking away or vice versa. Whatever it is that's going on on your side, Capricorns, it's time to forgive that. Forgive yourself, forgive them, because this connection, I feel, um, is, is ready. It's ready to come into union. This person definitely wants to devote their time to you, devote love to you, because they have seen that the two of you are definitely um, spiritually already in union. Like, you guys are already connected in the spiritual realms. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does the twin flames of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys? Thank you. And I feel that this Queen of Wands is your energy, male or female, you're being guided, I feel, to take action, to unblock all of this blockage. And part and parcel of doing that is to forgive yourself, forgive this person, give the relationship another chance and ask your spirit team, get the affirmation and confirmation that this is your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. The, the cards are telling you, yes, it is. But I feel for many of you, you're being guided to get that confirmation yourself because many of you um, uh, with the five dimension, you may have that ability uh, to connect um, spiritually to this person. Um, and if you guys are dreaming of each other, I feel if you answer your spirit team, answer divine spirit universe for guidance, they will give it to you. You just need to ask. You need to ask for the help and you will get it. Um, but definitely, if you want this union, you're being guided to take action. Basically, these cards all coming out in reverse, which is all blockages. You're being guided to take action to unblock that. OK, um, call them in, ask your spirit team, forgive, recognize the learnings and give the relationship another chance. OK, let's have a look and see what your twin flame messages are for each other. Thank you. Um, oh, wow. So on their side, lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So this person definitely I feel that at one point they denied the connection. OK, they received the message of the intensity of this connection, but they denied it in some shape, form or another. So it's just given us confirmation. I feel that they said something, a real cutting or sharp or denied the connection, which resulted in you cutting them out, walking away. All right. And now they're overanalyzing it. The second message is I can't handle your words right now. So they know that there's some stuff that needs to be cleared up between the two of you in our reality. And this card that's just come up, um, I, I'm feeling the consequence. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So you walking away as a trigger for them shutting down the connection um, not telling you how they felt, really. Um, I feel that uh, either you are feeling the consequences of walking away because there's now a ma major blockage and I feel that you're the one that can lead to unblock this. But it also could mean that um, you are picking up their energy, that they're really regretful of lying to you, not telling you how they really felt and still cutting the relationship, blocking it, denying it, resisting it, okay? And you may be picking up that they are finally feeling um, the consequences of their actions. And the final card, I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Yeah, I feel many of you were deeply upset. It's a wonder we haven't got the Three of Swords uh, coming out. I feel many of you were very deeply upset. It left you in a position of really uncertain uh, with that knight of wands to take action towards this person with the queen of wands i feel that you're being guided to be proud that you recognize this connection that this connection is worth celebrating and that you're being guided to give take the action and give this relationship another chance um and i feel many of you kind of wish 
um, you know, whoever cut who out first, it doesn't really matter, but both of you made that choice to walk away from this connection. I feel that you're being guided. Uh, many of you are, sorry, I feel that uh, you're on, on that spiritual level, uh, on that soul plane, astral plane, um, wanting to let your person know that you should have been honest that you were upset that they denied the connection, resisted the connection. And that, again, is a learning. It's a learning about being authentic of how you feel about somebody, particularly when you come to a twin flame ultimate soulmate. Um, there are, There is nothing that you can do other than be your authentic self. And for many of you, um, you weren't. You kind of let it slide maybe just gracefully just bowed out. Um, but what you didn't realise, it put a lot of blockage on the connection because maybe you were supposed to be the light for this person to wake them up to the connection. You kind of done the job and then in the process of them being awoken, they cut you out, denied the connection and then you walked away. It almost feels as if you're being guided. You should have stood tall, firm in your belief but you can recover this, I feel, by giving the relationship another chance and knowing that how you felt about this person, that it wasn't wrong. It, it, you, you know, you've done nothing wrong. Um, you know, maybe reacted with your human self when they sort of said whatever they said because they didn't tell you the truth of how they felt, which is natural. If someone's not telling you how they feel, then, you know what can you do other than walk away respect somebody's feelings by walking away if that's what they want yeah um so give it another chance i feel that the learning is 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 that you know going forward um when they do or say something that is uncomfortable or it doesn't sit right with you or it you know makes you sad or upset then be your authentic self and express that Again, another learning um, that this person has brought you. Right, let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. I think that card wanted to come out. Oh, look, trust. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. So if you've got any, any doubt, um, first of all, that this person is your twin flame ultimate soulmate, the answer is yes. If you have any doubt to take action, to give the relationship um, another chance, I feel that you're being guided to trust your spirit team when you ask them about how you can take action, how you can um, give the relationship another chance. Give, ask your spirit team and give them per per permission to guide you to the steps that you need to take, the action that you need to take to call this person, um, you know, uh, back into your life so that you can have that union that I feel Divine Spirit Universe is saying is definitely on the table for the two of you. And then we've got play, step outside and feel the sun, breathe the air, play, have some fun. So I feel that you're definitely being guided to bring some merriment, some light-hearted energy into the connection. Thank you. Um, goof off with each other, you know, um, get to know each other. They're just showing me release. Sometimes it's the only thing to do is laugh or cry is up to you. So I feel that you're being guided. Basically release the detour that the two of you kind of took with each other um, in this lifetime when you both realise the intensity of this connection because both of you received the message that you are very special to one another. There's no doubt about that. But both of you may not have really understood it. Um, and you may have uh, awoken to the connection at different times um, of, of encountering each other, all right? Uh, and then we've got practice. After a while, you dance on air. Practice makes perfect. You're almost there. So I feel that you're being guided to practice the art of self-forgiveness, forgiveness of others, okay um practice connecting with your spirit team to um ask them for guidance to ask them for help to show you what action you need to take um practice makes perfect um you're you're almost there bring that merriment and trust that your spirit team divine spirit universe um has got your back basically capricorns uh, for this union to come into play 
All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus signs. That may give you some extra message messages. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.